Thursday's Times, and a court has ruled that patients discharged from hospitals to care homes during the pandemic were discharged unlawfully. So what this is about is that uh, Cathy Gardner and Faye Harris, Cathy Gardner being Dr Cathy Gardner, their parents, both their fathers, died in care homes. And what they did was they took to court the uh, guidance that the government and health, um, uh, uh, Public Health England had published. And what Matt Hancock said was that in public, he said that the government had thrown a ring of iron, I think, around care homes. Now, this is all about asymptomatic transmission. And basically what, what they're arguing is that the, that the advice was wrong and it didn't take due, um, uh, you know, didn't take a pay attention to, to, to what it needed to pay attention to. And uh, they won. And, you know, the government has been told and public health England has been told, actually, you gave the wrong advice and you put these people at danger and they died. And, it, you know, it's not surprising. But on the other hand, you think, you know, Matt Hancock says, you know, threw a ring of steel or whatever around the care homes. And you do think that we live in a place where, you know, Boris Johnson and his wife and the baby and friends are sitting in, Co in Downing Street Garden with the wine. And that's called a work party. And then the people bringing the booze in the suitcase from the co-op, the suitcase is like a briefcase. I mean, the ring of steel around the care homes. I mean, frankly, a lie is not a lie. Yeah, I mean, it was an awful blunder uh, at Terrible. best. What? And I mean, it actually, my dad was in hospital right at the beginning of the pandemic and they were trying to they were expecting loads of people, yeah. so they cleared everyone out of the hospitals to create space. My dad was among those who were sent home. And um, we, the, we didn't put him in a care home, we just took him home. And he died two or three weeks later. So it's, I mean, he probably would have died had he been in hospital. And looking back, I'm glad he came home. But, I, you know, he was one of the guys who was sent home mm. in the yeah. whole thing. So, and the thing is, and they, they, were, and, and he would, they sent him home and he was so, like... You know, they, we didn't have a proper bed in that. It was there were so many incompetent things that made that he had like an awful week that he needn't have had yeah. if there had been a bit more care and attention. And there was that that, that there was some of those people who worked in the care homes too who went and lived in the care homes to try and protect, yeah. you know, the people in there so they don't bring infection in. It, it, I think what it is is you know we didn't know what a pandemic was about yes there was lots of experimentation i'm sure mistakes were made you could forgive that if they then don't tell the lie this is oh we threw a ring of steel i mean this is just absolutely and the shortages the of all of the the shortages of, of masks at the time in the homes and everything and there was awareness as it says here of the fact of the how the disease passed around how it was asymptomatic for some people and stuff so mm -hmm. protect the nhs